is no time to squanch. You got to get out of here. The hell does squanch mean? It means whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> Just don't say it in weird ways. It's like, okay, I squanch you? No, stop that. Here we are at the uh, season finale of uh, season two, uh, The Wedding Squanchers. So this is a good episode. I like this episode a lot. And um, yeah, I just, uh, you know what? There's nothing really to say other than let's just get into it. Oh, word. Let's just go, man. Here we are at the end of the road for season two. Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what would you know about friendship, Jerry? Confirm shipping, shipping Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Uh, do don't do that. Stop saying it, Klaus. Uh, come on in, guys. Uh, I guess I'm having cock squashes. <laughs> when he was her age, she wasn't born. When he was, uh, let's see, like 18. Shut up, Jerry. In your womb. Uh, <laughs> just bitch slap him already, Beth. I'll have sex with that. <laughs> Give us one sec. Take your attitude to the men's section of Kmart, because you need to cut me some slack. <laughs> I want you to stand in the corner and face the corner and talk to nobody. He's taking it pretty well, because if I got transported like that, I'd be in a much worse mood. <laughs> the galactic government considers us terrorists. It's unwise of me to share these details, but I've become inebriated. I don't know if you can appreciate what it means to grow up without a father. Because, you know, that's exactly how we all die. Alone. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Here we go. But, and if he loves Tammy, well, then I love Tammy, too. Hey. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> poor, poor Squatchy. Tammy, what you Sit your bird ass down, Tammy. Wow. Oh, shit. Wow. <sighs> Those guys. Yeah. Fucking Galactic, Galactic Federation. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's one way to dispense worms. <laughs> they think they control the galaxy. I disagree. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. How could you be so <laughs> You can't say F you to your granddaughter? I just did, Morty. Here's dessert. F you. Look, I think I'm going to that other can. <laughs> I had to get a jab in on Jerry. One more jab. No doubt. Man, that list. Ex expansive. Yep. You. Don't know what it said, but it was expansive. Everything. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't realize that Aaron was in this. Uh, uh, Ego Raptor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize he was in this. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Nolan North was in that episode? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I knew that. But I could hear I could hear him. Uh, I just didn't know that uh, I just didn't know that Aaron Hansen was. That's awesome. Is there anything after the credits on that? Yeah, there there is. Uh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. It's Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> Guns aren't fun with the apostrophe in the wrong place. Wow. It's kind of a jerk move. Yeah, it was. 
But Rick actually sacrificing himself to make sure that his family was okay and back on Earth because that's weird seeing Rick sacrifice. Well, not since uh, there's been times where Rick has sacrificed himself, but there's always been a chance of an out, at least at the end of the episode. Here, there was no out. He knew that by going there and getting processed that he'd effectively be stuck there. I mean... Unless he has some sort of backup plan. Yeah, which he's which he Rick. tends to do. Which, yeah, he's Rick, so you never know. Honestly, I can't remember how he gets out, so... Hey, that's season know. three, man. Yeah. Like I said, the only one I've seen was the one that came out on April Fool's Day a couple years ago. Yeah. That was the first episode. So I know how he gets out, but... Or if he does. I mean, it really depends on how you look at it, because... It's weird how they go about it in the third in in the in the next episode. I mean, because on one hand, you could think that he escapes, and on the other hand, he doesn't. It's weird. It's just one of those things. It's just like crap. Yeah, it's <laughs> if only we knew. Part of the thing with the whole multiple reality stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. In which, hey, I'm still I'm still happy that we are able to get through this. I mean, what do you think, Mike? I mean, the I mean. I mean, it's pretty fun. I, you know, I feel kind of bad for Bird Person. That's, uh, you know, yeah. You find but, love, and turns out she's a federal agent that's been doing the long con, and then she shoots you a lot. Yeah, that's shoot. a bummer. That's probably I, how I'm gonna go out. So I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually see that. I used to see that you're like on the run in the middle of a uh, in the middle of nowhere, and you find love with this one uh, this one random woman that you would think will love you and. Be able to cherish you. They're always going to be CIA assass- assassination robots. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That'd be interesting. That would actually be very interesting to come across that. Jesus. But overall, man, I mean, this was a good season. A lot of people say this was the best season. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I still haven't seen the majority of season three, so I'll have to make up my mind on that. But the primary reason we're going through this is because season four comes out this November, and I'd like to be able to I'd like to be caught up with this by the time that rolls around. And who better to enjoy it with than my boys? Yeah, just have yeah, just watching this and talking about it, and I, I, just know that I won't be like Mister Poopy Butthole, and I won't be like, Are you, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Do you think we're just gonna get out? Ooh, that wee. the hat thing was weird, where he was like. I'd never do that to you. I know you'd punch me in the face if I did that crap. <laughs> and I deserve it. Or you'd just come after me with one of those Viking axes. That was that was pretty much what I was dealing with earlier with some like young children, so they pretty much just grab a hold of you and they're like, ah. just, Except just like, instead of the hat <laughs> instead of the hat thing, it was like a toy brontosaurus just like God. smacking you with yep. <laughs> Children, man. Yeah. Bunch of animals. <laughs> Uh, actually, that uh, that one video, uh, the Viking Axe video, where I released it and everything, people were just like, "Oh God, Nate's lost it. He's lo- he's got he's got a pair of Viking axes and Jesus with him. What are we gonna do?" <laughs> he wants to ask me a question. Oh, of course. The quest- <laughs> some that some question, people were pissed. Some people that were pissed about that video because question just is like, murder. Yeah, some people were actually pissed a little bit about that video because it's just like. How can you how can you even compare Condor Steel to, to Colt or Condor Tool to Cold Steel? And I'm like, they're both cheap and they were recommended, so I mean what do you want? Isn't there somebody always mad about at least one thing in every video? I mean Pretty much. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there are people out there who want to fight us, right? They're more than welcome to try. But honestly, you'll just you'll just bless them to death and I'll I'll bite their faces off. Wow, that escalated quickly. Okay, I got big teeth and a, and huge jaws, so I can I can bite. All right, there you there you have it. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little weird there. Tune in next season in a year and a half, maybe longer, when Nate starts biting people's faces off. <laughs> <laughs> Be like that one Thomas Sanders line where he's trying to work out. And uh, like uh, it's like him trying. He's like doing pull ups, and at the top of the pull up bar, someone's holding a cheeseburger. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like trying so hard to get there. 
Uh, it's probably what I would. It, hey, you want me to work out? Stand in front of me with a chocolate donut on the uh, on the other end of a treadmill and just be. Huh, 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 huh. And every time I start getting closer, you sink the you put the notch up on it a little bit, and I'm like, oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! But yeah, this was this was a good episode. So yeah, I'm glad that we were able to make it through all of season two. Ooh wee, Rick! <laughs> yeah, glad we were able to make it through all that, and uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it too. And uh, I guess that's gonna do. One. Yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for season two of Rick and Morty. Sorry, it took us so long to get through with this. It's just drama, drama and shit. That's stuff and stuff that literally is what happened so what are we gonna do ain't really much we can do it's not much you can do about stuff no stuff and things things and stuff just have to do the best you can yes exactly so until next time everybody signing off i'm nate micah nick and we will see you all in the next one peace out